Good morning, dears. Welcome to our computer class. In this video, we are going to discuss about an interesting topic, text paint. This is our chapter 7, text paint. First, let's discuss what are the features of text paint. Text paint is a free software. We can download from website at free of cost. It has a large variety of tools. Funny sound effects are played when we select any BD. We can save images directly as thumbnails and there is no need to specify a file name. The next topic is how to open text paint. We can open text paint from our start button. Click on start button and select all programs. From all programs, you can select text paint option. In that two text paint will be there full screen and windowed. From that you have to choose text paint windowed option. Yes, those who don't have text paint software in your system, you can download it from the website www.textpaint.org. Visit this website. There you can see the download option. Click on it and download this free software. Listen here, yeah. when we open the text pane from start button, it will open with a background music. This is the text pane software. Here the left side you can see a set of tools. The right side appears sub toolbox. When it opens, by default, the paint tool will be selected. Paint tool is already selected now. Here down you can see the colors. Whichever the color you need, you can click on it and select. When we click on particular tool or color, here down you can see this space is called drawing mascot. Here down you can see penguin which help you to know more about text paint. We can select different colors from the color palette and can start drawing by left click the mouse and drag it. This paint tool have many sub tools. Among this, you can see one tool here. When we select that one, you can draw the lines in blur effect. This tool is called Haze Brush Shape. Here, in the brush tools, there are many options. You can draw like this. Any one of the tool you can select and draw. This is about paint tool. Next tool is stamp tool. Before going to stamp tool, shall we erase it? For doing erasing, which tool can we select? Here I have an eraser. Click on it. Then we click on this eraser tool. At the right side, sub toolbox, there are many erasers in square and circular shape. And you can select which size you need. You can left click the mouse and drag it for eraser. Now we can select stamp tool. When we click on stamp tool, here these six different stamps are there. Click any one and just click on the canvas. Now it will 
appear like this. Select the next one. Just click it. You can you can increase the size of this term by clicking here. And one more option is there here. This is mirror button. When you click on it, I'll show you. Now we have selected this stamp. When I click on the mirror button, what happened? Now we got the mirror image of that stamp tool. This is the way how we use this mirror tool. Again for erasing the eraser tool. Now I am going to try with the circular eraser. Let's move to next tool, line tool. For drawing the lines. I selected red color. What happened? The sub tool I selected is this one. You can draw like this. Okay. So many tools are here. Now let's move to shape tool. For that also, at the right side, sub toolbox, there have different shapes that you can draw. Just click and draw it. Very interesting application. Next is text tool. You don't have space to show that. So let me erase that. Take the text tool. Just click here and start typing. Wherever you click, the sentence will come to the and the style of this sentence can change by clicking which style you want, you can click on it. Okay. The font style. Next try with the fill. Fill is the same as fill with the color tool. We can fill it. Just click over the particular color. Click on the canvas. Next is magic tool. Before going to that, let me take the new page. Instead of erasing, we can take new page. Same as in MS Paint. Click on it. Now it will display like this. That means, if you want to get a new page with the background color, you can select which color you want. I'm selecting here white background itself, so just click on it and click on open. Then it will ask, do you want to save the previous picture? If you don't want, you can click the no I don't. Now we got a new canvas with the white background. Now let's go to magic tool. With magic tool we can draw different magical drawings. Okay. Among that we are going to discuss few only. First one is brick tool. Click on it and just click and drag it wherever you want this bricks. Okay. 
If you get anything extra like this, you can take the eraser, select a particular shape and just click and erase it. Come back to the magic tool. Next thing is, important ones only we are discussing here, flower tool. Select that one, just click on it. Okay. That's enough for drawing the flowers. We can change the colors. Okay. Wow. Super. Within a single click, you can draw many flowers. Take a new page. Now we can select a new page with a one background color. This one. Select it. Click on open. The last we want to save it. I'm selecting no, don't bother saving. Okay. Now new page came with a, a particular background color. Now we are going to try the next tool in magic tool. That is grass tool. You see to draw the grass effect. Okay. Another important tools discussing in this chapter. Now, in the new option, there are few more options other than the background color. If you click on this down arrow, you will get a lot of pictures here that you can select and open. <laughs> Okay, in this canvas you can start drawing. How will you save this page? After completing the drawing, how can we do saving? Click on this save. Here, it is very simple. One simple click is enough. There is no need to give the file name. In text paint, all the pictures are saved as thumbnails. If you want to open the saved picture, you can click on this open. Now you can see the saved all pictures here. When you click on that particular thumbnail, which one you need to open, select that one and click on open. That picture will be opened. Now we can open the saved previous hard picture. Click that one and click on open. If you want to delete this particular picture that you already saved, what you can do is click on this open. Now you can see here that picture. Select that one. And if you don't want, click on this erase. Then it will ask yes, erase it or no, don't erase it. If I want to erase, click on this. That will be deleted from this thumbnails. Okay. Now I'm going to open this picture. Click on that one. Click on open. These are about text paint. Very easy. Go through these tools with the help of this video. Thank you.